So you're getting aches and pains with any infection that you've got currently? Well, <clears throat> if you understand what's going on, you can identify what the problem is and help it. So anytime you get sick, there's a shift in your, your metabolism. So hear me out on this so it makes sense because if it makes sense for you, you'll be able to understand why my recommendation of what I'm gonna be recommending you and suggesting will work so well as it has for a number of people already. And when you get sick, your metabolism shifts and your metabolism shifts for a very important reason. Normally, when your body is healthy, you breathe in oxygen and your mitochondria will use that oxygen to make ATP, which is your cellular energy source. And then your body will burn that ATP and off you go to the races and you feel great, you have energy. When you get sick, your mitochondria do not burn as much oxygen. And that's because your mitochondria actually helps sense the infection and the illness, and they will not burn oxygen as efficiently. Why? Because oxygen is not only your fuel source for breathing or for, for living and making ATP, oxygen is also used to make what's called reactive oxygen species. And what does your immune system use? Reactive oxygen species. So imagine if your mitochondria just continued to burn the oxygen and convert it into energy for you, but at the same time did not utilize that oxygen to make enough reactive oxygen species to support your immune system to support the elimination of the infection. Well, you'd be energized, but possibly dead or you know sick for a long, long time. So your body has an amazing system built in and it will, again, allocate some of that oxygen for increasing the production of reactive oxygen species. And that is why you are so tired when you are sick. It's also why you are so stupid when you're sick and when you have brain fog. But it's also why you have so many aches and pains, especially in your muscle groups and, um, and possibly your head as well, because your brain uses a lot of energy, a lot of mitochondria in your head, uh, in your brain. So you make a lot of lactic acid because you, your metabolism becomes anaerobic. And so if you're producing a lot of lactic acid, you're getting a lot of lactic acid buildup in your muscles and you're getting really achy muscles and your back hurts, your thighs hurt, your arms hurt, your head hurts, your neck hurts, your brain hurts, everything hurts. So what do you do? Well, you want to support the body's ability to make these reactive oxygen species, but body, come on already, I'm hurting here. And you're so used to reaching for Tylenol or Advil or Motrin or aspirin or whatever these painkillers that you use. And you've learned from me and hopefully other people not to be reaching for those things because they're not very good for you. And so you wanna be doing other things. And so my recommendation is I've talked about this one a lot um, is my wife's favorite one right here, PQQ. It's small, it's blue, purplish, and um, you just pop it in your mouth and I'm gonna dump it on my couch and hopefully I don't steam it. Actually, it's red, excuse me. So it's this little red pill, um, not the one in the matrix. Uh, I don't want you swallowing the red pill. I think it's the red pill is the bad one, right? On the matrix, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I don't have any aches and pains, so I'm not gonna take it. Um, I put it back in here. But our middle boy um, had aches and pains <clears throat> pretty significantly. And in fact, it actually targeted his broken wrist that he had last year from skiing. And it really, really uh, caused agony in his, in his wrists and his back and his neck was hurting as well. <clears throat> so I gave him the PQQ and he experienced some relief, not a lot. Um, and then other people uh, were commenting today, I think it was, that they were using the PQQ lozenge and they were doing great with it. So another great antioxidant that you would want to be considering um, after a, a infection, but in terms of the current one today, um, this would be one that I'd be recommending is glutathione. This one is a buy one, get one free right now at Seeking Health. So Optimal Glutathione Plus is a buy one, get one free. Um, and so is the Optimal Glutathione. What's the difference? The plus has additional cofactors, 
So if you look on the back here, there's some additional nutrients like selenium, riboflavin, molybdenum, and PQQ. Um, but there's only a little bit of PQQ in here, but um, plus is a, is a great one to get. Um, but hands down what I'm seeing for people uh, and from their comments and from past experience as well, aches and pains generally across the board are supported um, by achieving healthier levels of reactive oxygen species. And you can get healthy levels of reactive oxygen species by using the antioxidant pyroquinolone quinone and having it in a lozenge as a deliverable this way, the absorption is, is, uh, is better, it's faster. Um, so one thing with the PQQ though, as I'll warn you, um, it is a microbial ferment. And so no, it doesn't do anything with histamine, but it can cause your teeth um, to get a little blue shade and your tongue uh, a bit blue as well. If you take some vitamin C, uh, apparently that will neutralize that. Um, what I typically do is I just bite it with my molars a couple times, it dissolves pretty fast, and then I chug it with water, and that way um, my teeth don't get blue. But that's what will happen with PQQ. Sometimes, not always, because it's a microbial fermentation. But once again, if you understand how the body is working, then you can step backwards and start thinking, okay, well, if it's doing that, and then here are the consequences, and then you can support and nurture your body and um, not have those issues anymore. And meanwhile, your immune system is chugging along and your aches and pains are more bearable, so you don't have to swallow that horrible stuff, Tylenol. And if you have swallowed Tylenol, it's okay, <clears throat> but just keep in mind that Tylenol depletes your glutathione in one dose, okay? So one dose of glutathione or one dose of Tylenol will deplete your stores of glutathione. And glutathione is heavily, heavily stored in the lungs naturally. So if your lungs are not what they want to be, then I would be reaching for the glutathione as well. So I hope that serves you. It is already serving a lot of people across the board. And um, so PQQ is not a buy one, get one free, um, but it's also readily, um, it's not that expensive. And the optimal glutathione uh, is actually pretty expensive. And this one is buy one, get one free currently. So comment below if you've taken PQQ in the past, has it helped you? A lot of people use it for post-workout soreness, generally speaking. My wife uses it uh, before exercising um, and after, depending on how intense it is. And uh, she does a lot better with it. So it is a staple in this house. You will find PQQ uh, bottles all over our place and the cars and her purse. It's everywhere. So add it to your arsenal. It is something that you will take um, when you need to, and you don't have to take it every single day. And is it safe for breastfeeding? Absolutely. Pregnancy? Yes. It's also good for pregnancy, but do not take it uh, every day during pregnancy. Uh, that is unnecessary. Only take it if you have significant aches and pains and then stop. Okay. The less you take during pregnancy, except for your prenatals and your DHA and your probiotics and, um, and things like that, then the essentials, that's great. So, but don't be adding other things in there if you don't need to. So PQQ use only if you need to, All right? Take care all.